The XRP Ledger seems to be getting more and more use case, more and more bullish news seems to come out about it on a weekly basis and this is no different. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what the XRP Ledger is going to be doing regarding their NFTs and tokenization from a technical standpoint because the XRP Ledger community is gonna be voting on something that is very important and could put the Ethereum platform on notice that the XRP Ledger is the place to be for NFTs, tokenization, and yes, online gaming. And speaking of some XRP news, more bullish news for the fintech company Ripple. No, not regarding the case versus the SEC, although that seems to be going pretty well as it is. More news regarding a partner of Ripple's that has been on RippleNet since 2017. I'm going to tell you in this video what they've just announced that's going to allow tens of millions of people to use Ripple's partner on the XRP ledger for payment services. Also, an ex-Coinbase employee was recently charged with insider trading, so I'm going to tell you what they're actually charging him with and why this sounds extremely similar to a case that OpenSea had last year. Hey everyone, my name is Randy. Welcome back to the Late Night Grind. Right now on this channel, we are covering the Ripple versus the SEC case, as well as other cryptocurrency news, investment markets, and personal finance. So if any or all these topics interest you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the Late Night Grind community, hit that bell notification icon so that you'll receive a notification when I release a new video. And if you do a couple of things, I'd appreciate it. Smash the thumbs up button, watch this video all the way to the end, and of course, check out my Patreon link in the description below. All those things really help out a YouTube channel, so if you do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, let's jump into it. So let's start by talking about some legal news, in fact, some arrests that were recently made. These of former Coinbase employees, including one of their former product managers. His name is Ishan Wahi, and he was actually arrested, being charged with wire fraud conspiracy and wire fraud in connection with what prosecutors are basically calling insider trading. Uh, so basically what he did was set up a scheme as to where he found out Coinbase's insider information as to when they were gonna be posting different coin listings onto the Coinbase platform. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with the Coinbase effect, it's something that's called the Coinbase effect because when tokens or coins are, are first launched on Coinbase and brought to the public, they experience what they call Coinbase effect, meaning the price actually jumped on the first day that it was available. Now, a lot of times this happened because of the exposure that Coinbase has because of having so many customers use their platform to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies. Tokens would jump anywhere from 5% to as much as 50% on the first day that they were actually traded on Coinbase. Uh, so what this manager did, and two other employees, by the way, uh, we're doing was getting the inside information, finding out what tokens were gonna be launched on Coinbase and when, and of course, they would do their insider trading, buy in well ahead of time before the listing, and once the listing would actually happen, the price would spike dramatically, and they would cash out their earnings to the tune of about $1.5 million. Now, if this sounds familiar, it's because last year there was an OpenSea, a former OpenSea employer. OpenSea is a huge NFT platform on the Ethereum network. Uh, who was actually charged with insider trading for basically the same thing. Uh, basically, he would find out when certain NFTs were going to be highlighted uh, and which projects were going to be highlighted, and he would go in and buy some of those projects before the listing. And of course, once the listing would happen, the highlighting would happen, those prices would go sky high, he would sell and cash out. So it sounds familiar because that's exactly what they're doing. So nonetheless, Coinbase has some issues on top of all the layoffs that a lot of these blockchain companies are now facing. Now Coinbase has to face issues like this. All right, so let's quickly talk about Ripple and what its uh, partner is actually doing to introduce millions of people uh, to the use of payments and remittance services through the XRP ledger. And this involves more consumers and merchants than it does banking. Now, a lot of times people talk about RippleNet, they're talking about the banking sector, which is primarily what it's used for at this point. However, Ripple's partner, AirWallX, which has been their partner since 2017, uh, recently, introduced an recently introduced a partnership. We're on an app that they just launched. They've partnered with companies like Shopify to allow merchants to sell on Shopify and accept crypto payments through their platform across borders. Now, this is actually run on a RippleNet through the XRP ledger and thus using XRP as its settlement token. So, and another extremely bullish use case for the XRP ledger. Uh, so yet more great news for Ripple, uh, its partners and the expansion of the XRP ledger. And this brings me to my next point, which is, the huge expansion of the XRP ledger, why it's trending on why it's trending on Twitter right now, 
and its use case that is going to put Ethereum on notice. And that is the XRP Ledger community is going to be voting on something, which was basically a proposal by Ripple Labs to change up their NFT technicals to something called XLS20. Now, it's an extremely long white paper, extremely detailed that I'm not going to cover in this video, but basically what it would do is allow the XRP Ledger in which NFTs and any tokenized assets could actually be transferred in split seconds. Not only would this decrease the minting costs, uh, the buying costs and selling uh, costs, this actually enables scalability to a much higher level than it even is now. So what they're anticipating is that this, this expansion could allow enterprise level uh, NFTs, tokenization, and yes, gaming on the XRP Ledger. Now, if you watched my previous video, I mentioned how there's a gaming studio talking about the use of the XRP Ledger and how gaming and most likely play to earn games are going to be on the XRP Ledger. Now, once again, this has nothing to do with Ripple necessarily, although Ripple Labs is the one that proposed this expansion uh, of the technicals uh, regarding NFTs on the XRP Ledger. And so once again, just proving the point that just because something is on the XRP Ledger has nothing to do with being a security of Ripple. So I'm actually going to link to a, an article about it that Ripple uh, just posted yesterday. Uh, this goes over a lot more of the technicalities and the expansions uh, in terms of what this uh, transition from, from their current NFT and tokenization to this new XLS20 standard is actually going to do. And as far as when it's taking place, I didn't see anything in terms of when the vote is going to happen. Uh, but as of right now, the XRP Ledger community are the ones that get to vote on this. From what I can, and from what I can read on Twitter, on uh, several other YouTube videos that I've seen about it, the XRP Ledger community is extremely bullish on it. This vote will most likely pass. Uh, and this expansion of the XRP Ledger into things like a gaming community, enterprise level speed, uh, split second settlements, uh, cheaper minting, buying and selling, that's what's gonna put the Ethereum platform on notice in terms of things like NFTs and gaming, that the XRP Ledger is here to stay and uh, it's gonna be the one to beat in my opinion. Now, of course, this might take a couple of years, Ethereum was well ahead of the curve on that. XRP was busy being used by the banking sector, but now that it's expanding into things like this, this is also what is gonna spur mass adoption because yes, even though tons of value is transacted by banks over the XRP ledger, the use case of this is going to bring in more attention, more eyeballs, more focus, and more usability of the XRP ledger. In fact, it'll be perfect for developers. They said the XLS20 uh, standard will be even much easier and much faster for developers to develop things on the XRP ledger, which of course is extremely bullish for the use case of XRP, the value of XRP, and of course, another reason to hold XRP. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and also visit the community tab. I put polls up there on a weekly, sometimes a daily basis because I love to know what you guys have to think about all of these, uh, all of these stories that I cover. And if you wanna follow these stories as well as some of the others, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that bell notification icon. All right, guys, thanks for watching all the way to the end for smash that thumbs up button. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.